Yeah, balls. Yeah, gay. Yeah, gay. Okay, I'm not that gay. <clears throat> so anyway, hey, what's up, guys? Coming here from the UGA Information Shop today, doing some little information bits on Abyss Rising. For those of you who did not know, Abyss Rising brings an oceanic onslaught to the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. Yes, I've always wanted water cards in this game. Yes, my wet dreams have finally come true. But no, I'm just kidding. So, anyway, Abyss Rising is supposed to bring a bunch of new decks to the game. I mean, for those of you who are, most of you already know about the Atlanteans, you know, the structure deck came out, I think, about two or three weeks ago, you know, and that pretty much brought, like, the basics of the Atlantean deck. And the funny thing is, that deck doesn't even have, like, full support yet, and it's already raping ass. Yeah, it's raping ass, for those of you who did not know. So, Abyss Rising's... Blah, blah, um, coming out, actually... Pretty soon, I don't, <laughs> I don't see the official release date, and no, like hell, it's not October twenty third. But yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. So, anyway, Abyss Rising is going to contain forty eight common cards, twenty rare cards, fourteen super rare cards, ten ultra rare cards, eight secret rare cards for a total of one hundred cards. And you can bet your ass these cards you all want are secret rare. And here's the official launch date: 11 9 nine two thousand twelve. So November the 9th, two thousand twelve. So. Basically, you know, the whole thing they're trying to sell with this pack is the fact that their mer the Mermels are coming out, and I haven't actually read uh, too much up on the Mermels. I just know that basically this does this, this does that, that does this, but they're supposed to be broken. Like, even uh, even right here, it's giving you like a little bit of descriptive information. Um, Mermel Abyss Linday, whatever, I don't know how you see that. Summons a Mermel from your deck when destroyed. So, it's basically got a Mass Dragon effect, you know, Giant Rat effect. <clears throat> Although it doesn't really specify if it has to be destroyed by battle or not. I don't know. I guess I'll, we'll figure that out later. Uh, Mermel Abyss Gunday summons a Mermel from your graveyard when discarded. So I don't know if you can just pitch it from your hand to, to summon one or not. It doesn't really specify. That would be stupidly broken if you could. Mermel Abyss Asshole, uh, but Abyss Hill Day summons a Mermel from your hand when sent to the... Did I, did I just say that? No, when sent to the graveyard. So the other one's discarded. This one's sent. So I guess that one has a kind of a saying in effect, but yeah. <clears throat> so I guess the, I guess the whole thing they're playing into is the the pitching and the and the special summoning. So it's gonna be pretty broken. It's gonna be pretty sacky. Uh, I guess just based off what the card text is. I mean, yeah, they got some traps here. <clears throat> but really, really, the cards that I was more interested in was the um, the spell books. Now I've already watched somebody like I've seen videos on YouTube of people playing with the spellcasters and the spellbook deck, and they're already broken as hell. I don't know what the name of the, I don't know what the name of the card is, but it's a it's a quick play. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a quick play. And basically they can search it out um, with the the spellbook card that came out in the uh, the recent set. Uh, they can search it out with that spellbook card and then they can play it and it'll negate like spell and trap effects, I think. It might just be spell effects, but it can negate it can negate, negate card effects. Um, then they can, like, they play, then they play some card, which I think is coming out in this set. They play some card where you can, like, banish a card from your graveyard. I don't know if it has to be a spellcaster monster, but you banish a card from your graveyard and return that same as that card, that quick play card that negates effects back to your hand and then just redo it all over again. And that, that also that card can search out other cards too. So it's ridiculous. Like it's, it searches this out. This thing searches this thing out. That thing searches this thing out. Summon this thing. This thing searches this thing out. Get my fill spell. This fill spell searches this thing out. They're going to be pretty broken. I'm pretty excited to actually uh, see the deck in action. I want to play with it. Um, don't really know what the price is going to be on it. But I mean, just based off of what I've seen, it's going to be a rather expensive deck until they reprint all of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, and then another card I was actually really like I don't I don't know what it takes to create him, but just the the, the fact that he's called Giant Soldier of Steel made me want that card. I think I might just run that in any deck I play from now on. So yeah, we're getting a new forbidden card, Forbidden Dress. I have no idea what it does. Um but um I don't know if it's anything like Forbidden Chalice or Forbidden Lance, it's gonna be pretty broken. Um, I don't know, I've always liked the card art of the Forbidden Dresses, uh, <laughs> of the Forbidden Dresses. I've always liked the card art of those cards, I just think they're really cool. Let's let me get a new Emperor type of card, this one's called Retort, but let's let me get a new Emperor Holidays type of card, too. So, overall the set looks pretty decent, nothing really interests me that much other than the Spellbook cards. Um, I don't really, I mean, and Forbidden Dress, that, that is, I think, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I think these might be, no, I don't know. I'm not gonna say that, because I don't know for sure. But, um, yeah, so, th uh, that, that, that's really all that excites me about the pack. I mean, I could really 
care less. I don't, I don't, I haven't, I haven't actually really looked at the set completely yet. I've just looked at like the main, you know, the main cards they're promoing out of the pack. Um, but really, really the only thing that interests me is just the spellbook stuff, which I probably will never get a hold of until after everybody's done playing with it. So for those of you who want to go to the sneak preview, the sneak peek dates are on the, uh, are November the 3rd, 2012 and or 11, uh, November the 4th, 2012. So some of you guys like me, my birthday is on November the 4th. So you want to pass me up some of those, uh, some of those, uh, secret rare cards you pull out of the packs would be really appreciative of that. Oh, Hey, you just want to give me your play event. That's cool too. So, yeah, the whole prepare for the ocean, onslaught, and all that kind of stuff. Which, I mean, I mean, we, I mean the water cards are going to be pretty broken. I mean, what was it? A water deck topped YCS Providence and it didn't even have full support yet. So, go figure. Um, but, yeah, the play now looks pretty cool. It's, um, it's probably one of that number 32 guy. I don't remember his name. Uh, but it's probably one of the number 32 guys. He's pretty cool, Matt. Uh, I, I want it, actually. I want it, actually, a lot. So, I'm, I might end up getting me that Matt eventually. I might buy it or off of somebody or trade for it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so anyway, for those of you who want to go to the sneak peek, I'm going to put all this information into the description, and, uh, so you guys can go check it out. Like, uh, the sneak peek dates are on the, um, 11, or November 3rd, and November 4th. Uh, also, when you go to the sneak preview, everybody gets a limited edition card, quote, quote, um, an ultra rare ignoble knight of Black Landa Salem, and that card does... And what that card does, you can send one face-up light normal monster card you control to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. You contribute one noble knight monster, add one noble arms card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of ignoble knight of black landis, landis asylum, whatever, once per turn. You can control only one face-up ignoble knight of black landis, landis salem. Yeah, you can only control. You can only so basically, you can only control one of those guys. You can pitch a light monster, especially to add a noble's arm card from your hand. So I don't know anything about these noble's arms cards. So I'm assuming they're coming out of this pack. So, um, well, I guess we'll see what those cards do. Uh, ba and then basically we'll just go off if he's good or not. But he's a dark. He's a he's a level five. So I guess that'd be. Um, I guess you could open up some pretty awesome uh, rank five plays from some X seeds. He's got. 2000 attack, 800 defense, and his card type effects are ignition and condition. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to put all this information in the description, so you guys can go check all that out for yourself, uh, especially for those of you who want to go to the sneak preview. Anything that I failed to mention in the video, please leave in the comment section below. I appreciate you correcting me. I'm, I'm not one of those douchebags that gets mad when you, you tell me I'm wrong. I appreciate it. <laughs> um... Yeah, so put that in the comment section below. Tell me, tell me what you guys think about the set, because um, I haven't really looked into it too much because I, nothing really interests me out of the set, and I always, I mean, I get interested in the TCG exclusives, but it's like every time I look at the TCG exclusive, it's always some broken ass card that we can't get until they reprint it. So, um, and, I mean, you know, well, it's not like we can't get it. It's just like we're the gene, you know, most of us have common sense and don't want to go spend two hundred dollars on a stupid ass card that's going to get reprint, you know, a month or two or three or four or five, possibly a year later. Pot of duality. But um, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and I will catch you guys later.